Ballinasloe occupies a strategic location adjacent to the M6 National Primary Route linking Dublin and Galway and is one of the principal gateways to the west. In addition, the town has daily public transport services, both rail and bus, to Galway, Athlone and Dublin. It's located on the eastern aspect of one of the county's strategic development corridors and enjoys a 2016 census population of over 6,600, with a large, significant catchment population of 22,500 living within a 15 kilometre radius. The town also benefits from key energy and telecommunications infrastructure, which are considered key for the location of industrial technological companies. It's connected to the Bordgosh pipeline network to ENET and the BT fibre network which runs through the town centre and main roadways in which service the commercial business and enterprise base of the town. The existing land uses in the town highlight some important elements of the town structure. Significant areas of town are currently in public institutional use. Notably and significant parcels of land in the ownership of the HSE such as the 200 acres site of the St Bridges Hospital complex to the east of the River Suck and indeed Porciuncla Hospital to the southwest of the town centre. The town has a very tight commercial core. The main primary street streets are concentrated along Dunlow Street, Market Square, Society Street and Main Street. The commercial developments around the town are small scale local neighbourhood type stores consisting mainly of comparison goods and the town centre is adequately served in terms of medical recreational services, restaurants, cafes, takeaways, hairdressers, barbers, pubs and indeed discount stores. A large and expansive modern new retail complex that is occupied by the largest store in the west of Tesco and Aldi at Dunlow Shopping Centre complements at the town's rec uh, retail facilities one kilometre southwest of the centre. The town provides higher order important services such as Porciuncle Hospital, one of the largest general and maternity hospitals in the country. It's also well serviced with educational facilities and spare capacity exists currently in both primary and second level schools. The proximity of the town to Athlone, which is some 25 minutes away, and Galway City, which is some 50 minutes away, for third level facilities is also a major advantage. Significant tourist attractions have to include the Banlaslow Horse Fair in October, the Larry Reynolds Traditional Music Weekend, the Halloween Zombie Walk, and of course we have our sports facilities, our sports hub, Banlaslow's Golf Course, Banlaslow's Rugby Club, running tracks and a various variety of other sports grounds. In excess of 25 million has been invested by both community and the government in the last 15 years in investing in our sports and recreational product. Marine tourism continues to be a growing sector and ongoing works to make the river suck navigable have resulted in the linking of the town to the Shannon Ern Waterway, one of Europe's largest leisure waterways. A 25 berth public marina has been completed by Dukas at Selina Howan and a private marina at Port Nick has berthing facilities for 35 pleasure craft with permanent and winter moorings. Banlaslow has also traditionally proved popular with anglers particularly those interested in coarse angling along the famous River Suck. Banlaslow hosts a range of industrial enterprise ventures that are operated by both national and international companies. The industrial developments are located on the outskirts of the town, to the south and to the southeast. The main enterprise areas today are located in the IDA Business and Technology 30 Acre Park and the Banlaslow and Enterprise and Technology Centre, which are located to the northeast of the town centre along the R357 or the Roscommon Road. Residential growth experience within Ballinasloe in recent years has further strengthened the economic base of the town. The majority of our residential development is located outside the town core on the arterial routes outside the town. Housing estates or developments are generally small to medium size. They're not confined to any particular area of the town, though Crea and the Glanton Kilgarav areas display significant concentration of private residential development east of the River Suck and there are also considerable backlands areas to the rear of the main streets which offer significant potential for further development.